Okay. Um, Jerry is going to tell me what a vector is. Go for it, Jerry. <laughs> tell me what a vector is. Come on, one more word. Vector has direction and... And what, 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 what? And what, come on? No, it does help him. All right, I'll ask Sean then. Sean, do you know what a vector is? Ah. Okay, ask Chu. Chu, what's a vector? Give me a full sentence. Give me a bigger sentence. There's no there's no verb in that sentence. Give me give me a full sentence. Shh. Listen to Chu. He's telling you what a vector is. Go on, Chu. Correct. Good man. Okay, now on to B. Uh, Sean, you need to review those lessons you missed, okay? You need to do that. B. Yes. How could you have a question on the... Oh, sorry. Apologies. Sorry. Sorry. How could you have a question, as I was about to say, but you don't have a question, you have a problem, I don't have it up on the board. Okay, B. What do we need for B? Look at the picture for B. What type of problem is B? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, you could actually use the tree force theorem here. This is T. This is F. And this is W. This angle here, do we know it? No. This is theta. Okay, but we know this angle. What's this angle? 90. 90. And you actually know this angle here. What's this angle? Mm -hmm. uh, theta. What is it? Theta. Uh, theta. So what is this angle? Theta. Yeah. So this angle here, is that going to be... Well, Minus theta. <laughs> 180 minus theta. Yeah, 180 minus theta, thank you. 180 minus theta. Yep. What? So what about the R? There is no R, is there? Yeah, this is the whole picture. Right, what do we know? We know the tension. This is we're told 2, 3, oh, oh, newtons. And we know the weight. This is 200 G. And we are looking for... Oh, the weight! Oh. Alright, so I've already done part 1. What is the weight? 200 G. What is this, Monica? Okay, part 2, what is the F? I could say F Now, do I know theta? No. So I, I probably have to... Oh, part 3 is the theta we have to find. Yeah. So what did Lamy say? Lamy said F over sine 180. And we actually know the... Do we know the F? No, we don't. 180 minus theta. That's equal to... 2300, ah, here we go, 2300 over sine 90, and also 2300 over sine 90, that's equal to W over sine theta plus 90. 
Okay, wonderful. What can this give me? What can I get from this? I can get Tita. Yes. And if I have Tita, what can I get from this? I can get F. Okay, so... Uh, if we type in Tita plus 90 will equal sine inverse 1962 multiply sine 90, which is just 1, over 2300. So theta will be that minus 90, if somebody can tell me that, please. And then f is, what is it? Sine inverse 1962 over 2300. Is it now? That's interesting. So if it's a negative number, it means we should take the other angle for sine. Can you tell me what you got for the sine inverse? And are you in degree mode? Well, it doesn't really matter because sine 90 is 1. But sine 90 is... Are you in degree mode? Are you in degree mode? Are you sure? Look at the calculator. Okay. <laughs> right, what's the answer, Monica? Okay, fine. Can someone else tell me the answer here, please? Anyways, so while you're getting the answer here, F will be 2, 3... What's the answer here? The final answer or just the sine inverse part? Sine inverse minus 90? Oh, the whole thing. Yeah, so the problem here is um, we obviously... Can you just get rid of the minus 90 on your calculator and tell me what you get? 58? 58. Yeah. Yeah? Something's gone wrong. Something has gone wrong. 2300 oh, oh, over sine 90. Correct. F over sine 180 minus theta. Correct. Correct. 1962 over sine theta plus 90. I don't know what's gone wrong. <laughs> Can someone hand me up a calculator? Pass it along. Pass it along. It shouldn't be minus. Okay, look. This angle here is 58.54. This angle is too small because when you use minus 90, you get a negative answer. But remember, I taught you in math class that these answers go in pairs. So it must be that we require the second answer. What's the second answer for sine? No, no, that's tan. Yeah, 180 minus this answer. Of course you can. 31.46 degrees. Okay, so this now, the F would be 2300 sine 31.4, no, sorry, sine 180 minus 31.46 over sine 90. One, 
two O O Newtons. That is for part two, and that is for part three. Now, because this question is a bit weird, I just want to check the answer because I have that here. The answer is correct. Please note, hey, please note, in the marking scheme, they rounded this answer to 3SF, so that became 31.5. And because of that rounding, it meant this answer was 1203. But they also said in the marking scheme that the answer is this or this. So if you use 3 or 4, they actually listed both answers as acceptable here. So we're good with this. Okay, that was a bit weird. There is another way to do this just before we move on. The other way to do this is you could have resolved. You could have said F should equal, um, and this one here is, and this one here is. This one is T cos theta. This one here is T sine theta. This one here is mg. So you could have said this equals this. And that would be for part two. And then you could have said this equals this. And then that gives you the F. Which is part three. And that works fine as well. In fact, maybe that would have been easier to do here. But I didn't know that at the beginning because I didn't know that this was going to happen. So you take chances in life. I can close this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.